guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Christina Artistry and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to create this look, which was inspired by HBO's Euphoria. The show is freaking amazing. The makeup artists on the show are amazing, which I will link here. I was just truly inspired watching not only the show, but the makeup itself just blew me away and I knew I had to recreate the looks for you guys. I went ahead and asked you guys on Instagram which one of the three looks you guys preferred me do and you guys chose this guy right here. I love this one, so I'm kind of excited that you guys chose this one because this is the one I wanted to do. This is from Maddie's character, which she is a baddie. She does not give a Yeah, so if you guys want to learn how to get this look, just keep watching. I'm just going to start by brushing my hairs up and then I'm going to use my brow pencil to create hair like strokes to make it a little bit feathery. I'm also going to apply my primer and then my colored uh, gel right on top. This is going to create a very feathered wild look. Now I'm going to use my concealer as an eyeshadow base. I just realized my mic wasn't on the whole time that I was talking so that's great. Now I'm going to grab some translucent powder. And I'm using a 217 brush. You can use any fluffy brush. This is really just to set the concealer and to make sure that the eyeshadow doesn't get stuck to the concealer. I'm gonna take my Too Faced Peach Palette and use Candied Peach. It smells so good. I'm just going to pretty much buff this out all over the lid, making sure there are no rough edges and giving us a nice pink base. What I really love about the makeup on this show is how it's not super precise. Although the liners are precise, but it, it's not about making everything perfect. It's more about having fun and it's really just about creating and expressing yourself, which is I think important at that age. And it's kind of what you tend to forget to do with makeup these days. So it's really nice to see that they really had a lot of fun with the makeup on the show. I take a little bit of Georgia from the same palette to kind of give us a cooler pink tone. And I'm doing the same, just applying it all over the lid. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take my eyeshadow in Last Dance, which is a pretty sparkly pink dazzle shadow. And I'm gonna use my ring finger and I'm gonna apply this all over just on the lid, not necessarily onto the crease area, but you can kind of blend it outwards. There really is no right or wrong. You kind of just want it to be more concentrated on your lid and then blend it towards the outer crease. So Maddie always wears an eyeliner. Um, and according to the makeup artist, they didn't really use a lot of actual liquid liner. They used more eyeshadow, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and use. This one is called Frock Talk. And I'm going to go ahead and dip an angled brush into Frock Talk. Frock Talk. <laughs> and I'm also going to go ahead and take a little bit of my Inglot Duraline. So I'm just going to create a wing. And her wing was pretty dramatic, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same. Pretty, pretty. That is really, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I am back, bitches. You want it to be super dramatic, fierce. It's cause you looking good. That's what we're doing. So I like to go soft first, cause that way I'm not committed to the liner. Cause we all know, even me as a professional makeup artist still struggle with doing my eyeliner sometimes. So I like to do it light and then I build the color once I am ready to commit. I think that the liner actually has a little bit more red to it, pinky almost, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some Cranberry by MAC as well with the same brush. I'm just gonna do a little bit, a little touch up in the liner. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it right on top, just so that it's a little pinkier. Next I'm gonna use the Infallible Eyeliner Pencil in the color Nude. Georgia color again from the peach palette and I'm gonna load up my flat brush and I'm going to just do my waterline and I'm just smoking out underneath my eye, keeping it pretty thin. One tip that I do wanna give you is you wanna connect the line with the eyeliner from the top. So you don't wanna have it be too low or too high. You wanna just about the same as if they were attached to each other. The two eyeshadows that I use, and I'm going to do the same and just line underneath to give me a little more depth. So the next step I'm gonna go ahead is just add some lashes. Working on the skin a little bit more than I already had. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit and go pretty close to the waterline. I'm just going back with my concealer and cleaning up under my eye, making it a little brighter, but also cleaning up that wing to make it as sharp as possible. Oh, 
Now using my MAC contour palette, I'm going to apply the darkest shade and just bronze up my face. Now I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild blush in the color In a Purple Haze, and I'm just going to apply a little bit on my cheeks. It's make me a little bit rosy, pinky. Next I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with a little bit of my Milani lip liner. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Winky Luxe Lip Balm. I'm just gonna apply a little bit towards the center, just to give me a little more rosy color. And then I'm going to add my NYX Lip Gloss, which is really pink, right on top. So next I'm gonna go ahead and use the rhinestones, which is my favorite part of the entire look. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place them pretty much where they, where she put them. I'm just gonna mimic it. There's really no wrong way to do this. I literally just take the little rhinestone. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, with the scissors, I'm gonna go ahead and dab where the rhinestone should go. So there should be one in the front there. So with the rhinestone, I'm just gonna place it with my finger. This is the hard part, guys. Looking really good, really pretty. So next I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing underneath my eye and I'm just going to place three rhinestones underneath. So the best way to, I would say to do this is grab a handheld mirror and just kind of bring your eye down like you would for your lashes and place the glue underneath and just do pretty much what I have just done. 